Did you know that 99% of Warren Buffett's wealth was accumulated after his 60th birthday? Imagine working your entire life and realizing that your greatest financial achievements are still ahead of you. It's a mind-blowing fact, but it's true. This incredible statistic highlights a crucial element of Buffett's success that most people overlook. Many people admire Warren Buffett's stock performance, but are they learning the right lessons from him? Today, we're going to explore what we should really take away from his journey to success. Spoiler alert. It's not about trying to mimic his stock picks. Warren Buffett, often referred to as the Oracle of Omaha, has been a guiding star for countless investors around the globe. But here's the catch. While many try to emulate his stock picking prowess, they often miss out on the real secret behind his success. Buffett started investing in the 1950s, a time vastly different from today. The stock market, economic conditions, and political landscape were unique to that era. Trying to replicate his specific stock picking strategies today is like trying to catch lightning in a bottle. To put this into perspective, consider the fact that in the 1950s, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was just around 300 points. Today, it's over 30,000 points. The economic landscape has transformed drastically. Regulatory changes, technological advancements, and globalization have all played significant roles in this evolution. Buffett himself has acknowledged that the environment he invested in was incredibly favorable. During an interview, he once mentioned, The opportunities I had in 1950 are not likely to be available to investors today. This isn't to say that there are no opportunities today, but rather that they are different. So, if replicating his stock picks isn't the lesson, what should we take away from Buffett's journey? The answer lies in two timeless qualities, endurance and patience. These traits have been instrumental in his success and are something we can all aspire to develop in our own financial journeys. Throughout this video, we're going to dive deeper into these qualities and explore how you can apply them to your own life. We'll look at practical steps, share some of Buffett's most famous quotes, and provide examples to help you stay on track with your financial goals. Stick around as we uncover the real secret behind Warren Buffett's success. And remember, finance first, freedom follows. Welcome back to Fink Freedom, part one, the unique environment of Buffett's era. Warren Buffett started his investment journey in the early 1950s, a period that was markedly different from today in many ways. Understanding this context is crucial to grasp why trying to replicate his specific stock picking strategies today might not be as effective. In the 1950s, the US was experiencing a post-war economic boom. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is a benchmark for the overall health of the stock market, was hovering around 300 points. Today, it's over 30,000 points, a staggering increase that reflects significant economic growth, inflation, and technological advancement over the decades. One key difference was the regulatory environment. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, was still in its early years, having been established in 1934. Regulations were much less stringent than they are today. For instance, insider trading laws were not as rigorously enforced, and there were fewer reporting requirements for companies. This allowed savvy investors like Buffett to gain an edge by conducting thorough research and finding undervalued stocks with less competition. Another major factor was the availability of information. In the 1950s, there was no internet. Investors relied heavily on printed financial reports, newspapers, and personal networks. Buffett famously devoured these reports and used his analytical skills to identify promising investments. Today, we have an overwhelming amount of information at our fingertips, which can be both a blessing and a curse. While we have more data, the challenge now lies in filtering out noise and focusing on what truly matters. Economic conditions were also unique. The post-war period was characterized by robust industrial growth and consumer confidence. Many of the companies Buffett invested in were benefiting from these favorable conditions. For example, his early investments in companies like Jayco and American Express were made at times when these industries were poised for significant growth. The types of industries that dominate the market today, such as technology and biotech, did not even exist in the same form back then. Buffett himself has often acknowledged that the investment opportunities he encountered in the 1950s and 1960s were extraordinarily favorable. He once remarked, the opportunities I had in 1950 are not likely to be available to investors today. This isn't to say that there are no opportunities today, but rather that they are different. Today's market is far more competitive and efficient, meaning that the margins for finding undervalued stocks are slimmer and require different strategies. Additionally, market access has changed drastically. Back in Buffett's early days, trading stocks was a privilege mostly reserved for the wealthy or those with significant financial knowledge. Today, almost anyone can trade stocks with just a few clicks on their smartphone. This democratization of investing is a double-edged sword. 
It provides more opportunities for individual investors, but also increases market volatility and the potential for uninformed decision-making. Moreover, consider the geopolitical climate. The 1950s and 1960s were marked by the Cold War, which influenced global markets in ways that are different from today's geopolitical challenges. The relative stability and predictable market behavior of Buffett's early investing years contrasts sharply with the complexities of today's globalized and interconnected economy. In conclusion, the environment in which Warren Buffett made his fortune was unique and cannot be replicated. While the core principles of investing remain timeless, the specific conditions that allowed Buffett to succeed in the way he did are largely a thing of the past. However, this doesn't diminish the value of his approach. Instead, it highlights the importance of adapting timeless principles to contemporary circumstances. In the next segment, we will explore the enduring qualities of endurance and patience that have been pivotal to Buffett's success and how you can apply them to your own financial journey. Part 2. The Power of Endurance and Patience What stands out about Warren Buffett's success is his remarkable endurance and patience. These qualities are timeless and can be applied by anyone, regardless of the era or market conditions. While investment strategies may evolve, the ability to stay the course is what separates great investors from the rest. Let's delve into why endurance and patience are so critical and how you can cultivate these traits in your own financial journey. First, let's look at the concept of compounding, which is fundamental to Buffett's philosophy. Compounding is the process where the value of an investment increases because the earnings on an investment, both capital gains and interest, earn interest over time. Albert Einstein reportedly called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world, and Buffett's fortune is a perfect example of this principle in action. By reinvesting his earnings, Buffett allowed his wealth to grow exponentially over the decades. For example, if you invest $10,000 at an annual return of 7%, it will grow to over $76,000 in 30 years without any additional contributions. This is the magic of compounding, which requires patience to realize its full potential. Buffett's investment in Coca-Cola exemplifies the power of patience and compounding. In 1988, he invested $1 billion in the company. Over the years, he has enjoyed substantial dividends and capital gains from this investment. The patience to hold onto this stock for decades allowed the compounding effect to significantly multiply his initial investment. Endurance, on the other hand, involves sticking to your investment strategy even during challenging times. The stock market is inherently volatile, and periods of downturn are inevitable. However, enduring these tough times without panicking and selling off your investments at a loss is crucial. A study by Fidelity Investments found that the best performing accounts were those where the investors forgot they had an account. This amusing yet insightful finding highlights that those who leave their investments untouched tend to perform better in the long run. Buffett's behavior during the 2008 financial crisis is a prime example of endurance. While many investors were selling their stocks in a panic, Buffett remained calm and even saw it as a buying opportunity. He famously said, Be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful. His composure and strategic investments during this period paid off immensely when the market recovered. Patience and endurance are not just about weathering financial storms. They also involve the discipline to stay the course. According to a Dalbar study, the average investor significantly underperforms the market due to poor timing decisions. Over a 20-year period, the S&P 500 had an average annual return of around 8%, while the average investor's return was only about 4%. This gap is largely due to investors trying to time the market, buying high and selling low rather than sticking to a long-term plan. Let's also consider the importance of setting realistic expectations and having a long-term perspective. Buffett has often emphasized that he does not aim for quick profits, but rather focuses on the long-term potential of his investments. This mindset helps in managing expectations and reduces the temptation to make impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. Moreover, endurance and patience help mitigate emotional biases that can negatively impact investment decisions. Behavioral finance studies have shown that emotions like fear and greed often drive irrational investment behaviors. By adopting a patient and enduring approach, you can avoid common pitfalls such as panic selling during market downturns or chasing after the latest hot stock. Another important aspect is diversification. Buffett has famously said, diversification is protection against ignorance. While Buffett himself is known for his concentrated investments, he advocates for diversification for most investors as a way to manage risk. 
patience and endurance in maintaining a diversified portfolio over time can help smooth out the volatility and lead to more consistent returns. Additionally, continuous learning and adaptability are integral to successful investing. Buffett spends a significant portion of his day reading and learning. He once said, the more you learn, the more you earn. This commitment to lifelong learning allows him to adapt to changing market conditions while maintaining his core principles of patience and endurance. To develop patience and endurance in your own financial journey, start by setting clear, long-term financial goals. Write them down and review them regularly to keep yourself motivated and focused. Create a well-thought-out investment plan based on your risk tolerance and time horizon and stick to it, even when the market gets turbulent. Regularly educate yourself about investing in the market. The more knowledge you have, the more confident you'll be in your investment decisions, which can help you stay patient during volatile times. Lastly, practice emotional control by reminding yourself of the long-term nature of investing and resisting the urge to react impulsively to short-term market movements. So there you have it. While investment strategies might change, the qualities of endurance and patience are timeless. These traits have played a huge role in Warren Buffett's success and can be just as valuable for you. Stay the course, harness the power of compounding, and keep a disciplined approach. That's how you reach your financial goals. Thanks for watching. Keep working towards your financial goals and be kind to the others. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Think Freedom for more tips on financial independence. And if you have any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.